Okay, okay. Oh, we're back. Okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes I think it might be necessary to have, you know, one of those stream countdown things, but I don't think it actually is. I don't think it actually is. Either way, though. Either way, I feel like, uh, I feel like uh, we need to do something about the stream quality. <laughs> I need to do some more research around, you know, having extreme elements. Maybe a UI or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look into it. I haven't been, you know, used to this um, whole streaming thing, right? I am by no means a professional <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but oh well. Oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Is my internet done? Continue game off. Oh, what? Huh? I mean, I guess. Wait a minute. Why? That's that's very odd. That's ah okay. That's that's actually strange. That's that's very weird, actually. Oh hey, got a bunch of tickets somehow. Oh, and there's a whole event. Oh, that's nice. Ah, uh, maybe. Ah, uh, that's interesting. That is interesting. But for now, I think I really should check my inventory because I had an idea. Maybe we should use this whole this this particular streaming session as a as a whole farming thing, right? Where I just farm for extra uh, canteen ingredients because it is very very much important that I gather as much of that stuff as, you know, reasonably could. Simply because, and I'm not entirely sure, okay, I don't understand 100% of how these, um, how the canteen mechanics work. Speaking of, let's move to Astera for a bit, so that I can explain this a bit better. The closest to the canteen, okay. Um, training area, workshop, I guess, is the closest. I'm not entirely sure of how the whole canteen mechanics work in the whole bonuses. I'm, I know for a fact that there is a large element of RNG involved with the um, cat bonuses, right? The feline bonuses. But, but if I do this, right? So let's say I'm making a custom platter, right? When it comes to picking ingredients, there are certain ingredients like this that glow like this. Right? If you use these, it gives you extra maximum health for yourself and your and for your cat. Right? And every now and again you know, and now and then right, you get a few of them that gives them no, that gives you max HP, right? But if you're using uh, say from this category of all meat, right? If you are using two, it increases the um, attack buffs. Right? By that interval sort of it goes from small, medium to um, large. And it goes like that. Unfortunately, if you go like this meat platter, since none of the current ingredients on the meat side, right, are glowing, if I choose meat only platter and get the highest highest possible attack buffs I could, I get no health bonuses, which sucks, <laughs> obviously, right. And I and I like to think that having access to more variety of ingredients in each category would increase, you know, sort of my chances of getting the bonuses I want, at least as as high as possible the health bonuses that I can get from the meat platter only, that I can take full advantage of the HP and the attack bonuses, right? Because I'm thinking of a strategy of just, I'm completely foregoing any sort of defensive options when it comes to the food buffs and just going all in for damage because I figured that this weapon that I'm using, the insect clave, is mobile enough that I could get away with it. Right, so I'm going to check right now, right, um, how many optional quests that I have available. Can I actually do the online session now? Create online, create one, and as preference, you know, blah blah blah. Yes, there we go. That it worked this time for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't earlier, but oh well. So let's see. I mean, I technically didn't have to do that, but oh well. Uh, optional quest, level 1. Okay, that doesn't give me any... I want to check how many of the stuff that will give me extra food bonuses. Unlocks a new... This, this is the one I'm talking about. 
this particular quest unlocks canteen ingredients, so does this one. I think it's worth it to take a little bit of time to go ahead and get them. Botanical research. Um, it's tempting! Right? Botanical research item. But maybe not priority. Canteen ingredients, so I can... There's a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff that I could go for that would give me extra canteen ingredients. Jesus Christ, it is a lot actually. <laughs> it's quite a lot. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I have an idea. Let's start with this one. Two stars and take from this. Might as well. And just do this as quickly as humanly possible. Right? Right. Do I want to take that route? No, I think I, I think I want to take this route instead. There we are. There we are. Oh, and there's a research thing here. So. You all good? Yeah, okay. Whatever, whatever. Give me the quest. Okay. Let's just take the time to knock these out of the checklist. And then we'll move on to um, the main quest. Basically. Right? Yeah. Uh, so by the way, you know, uh, with regards to the whole challenge thing, I want meat platter only because I don't think I'll be needing to bother with defense with this. So I'll take those. All right, all right. Let's just run as fast as we can. Oh, and we probably should pick up on you know. A few important ingredients like the uh, might see that we will run into over yonder right side. There we are. There's always a might seed here that you can that you can farm every time you start off in the wild spire race. So let's make our way to the good jails and farm then. Hopefully I run run into one of the um, one at least one cooler yaku. Right? in this quest and the next one that I plan to get simply because I will get one of those egg carrying missions later on and what I want is the headpiece headpiece right oh god damn it the Kuliaku headpiece oh what the hell is that anyway as I was, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted okay is this guy going to die soon there we go. Before I was rudely interrupted, the if I remember correctly, the Kuluyaku headpiece allows me to carry um stuff much faster because it is specifically giving me the um, pro transporter armor skill, and you only need one of those uh, just to get the full bonus of that. So. That's something to keep in mind, so hopefully I run into one in the next quest because I don't think the Kuliaku will ever make its way down this side of the map. Regardless, regardless. It's fine if I don't get it anyway because I think I might have enough to make it regardless. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see though. It's, it's kind of strange. I, I don't know if it's just a feature of these kinds of quests where you get the um, uh, smaller monsters but they almost never have any of the um, larger monsters available as well oh, sh god damn it oh this is this is a lot of dudes <laughs> okay let's pull the insect out yep there we go huh you managed to kill enough damn <laughs> let's see making quick work so we're doing fine here don't need to um really bother with the carving too much right you don't need to go ham on it because currently we don't need much in the way of gajal pieces right i mean at least as long as i'm getting that gajal whisker which is rarer right i should be fine should be happy about it Oh, there we go. So, we should be good. Yeah. Then I think the next quest will uh, be getting best point stuff. Which is fine, I guess. I don't think we have nearly enough of the um, monster boss item. Or, you know, 
monster part. So I'm sure we will need that stuff later. I mean, it's always it's always the case that we get to the higher levels, and well, turns out we need some of the lower level stuff to proceed with the item progression. Always happens in every game, no matter what. See, there we go, Gajal Liver. It's a fish part though, so that's not entirely ideal. Uh, I'm not so sure what the next one is going to give me, speaking of stuff. Bounty complete, items can be delivered, new research hey. results, blah blah blah. Let's do this. Collect harvest. Wow. I did not realize I was only cultivating bugs. Okay, speaking of cultivation, I need quite a bit of honey. We could do. Ah, I mean, we can only do one bitter bug. Don't think we need blue mushrooms or herbs currently, so I think we can stick with this for the moment. Botanical research stuff. Oh well. Oh well. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, you are too good to me. We got a bounty. Sure, sure. Got it. Insects. Ah, quite a few actually. Okay. Uh, complete deliveries. Ah, there we go. That's one. It's good. Any other stuff that I need to complete? Harvest box upgrade. That could be useful. Um, shameless hide. Okay. Good job, skin. Sure. More. It's not meat, though. We need meat stuff. Okay, so that's a thing that I think we could consider. Is that not all of the um, canteen upgrade quests will give me the meat stuff, which is what I want. This one, I'm not sure which one it will give me, but I think it's still worth going for, so we will we go. But give me a moment, though. Yeah, I need to keep my water thing beside me. In case I get dehydrated, dehydrated again, which I'm very prone to. Ah, so, how is everyone feeling today? <laughs> so, only 15 minutes into the live stream, by the way. We are, you know, savoring our precious time by uh, knocking off some of the um, important optional quests out of the way. Just so we don't have to deal with them in the future. Okay, get that. Yeah, so my day has been going fine so far. Uh, okay, that's that's kind of a lie. <laughs> uh, particularly, especially in the place where I live, in the part of the world where I reside in. It's currently the summer, and unfortunately, my room does not have air conditioning because you know, I technically can't afford one yet. What's worse is is that the insulation between my head, or rather, between my head. And the blazing sun outside is a thin sheet of metal, so in the middle of the day, basically, this whole room turns into just one giant microwave oven. <laughs> and that's, that's, you know, that's partially why I do most of my recording in the middle of the night, basically. It is 11 a.m. 11, 11 p.m. where I am when I start these live streams, and, you know... Unfortunately, there is a downside to that. It's basically that I'm already, you know, tired pretty much and I have to muster quite a whole lot of, you know, willpower just to <laughs> stay cogent for these streams and for the recordings, right? And an even bigger downside is because it's uh, the weekday and I have to come to work the next morning, right? Which means for that particular day at work, I am basically just just dead, dead at work. <laughs> and then, if I have any particular meeting scheduled tomorrow, right, that'll be a bigger nightmare because, oh my god, I have to talk to doctors and such, and managers and shit, and I have to pretend like I'm locked in, right? Or else they're going to think that, wow, this guy is a, you know, a lazy dumbass. <laughs> We can't be bothered to stay awake for the meetings. Apparently, he's not taking this job too seriously. Maybe we shouldn't, you know, consider him for promotion or, you know, something along those lines. So, yeah. Ah, but that was, anyway, what am I worried about? What am I worried about? It's fine. It's fine. 
Okay, so... Here's the thing. I only know one part of this map where I can farm Vespoids, which is this part, okay? I don't actually know where else they... Ah, I see, it's the, um, the nest. Okay, okay, I remember now. I remember now. Any stuff? Ah, I see, okay. I see, I see. Okay, I know now, I know. I remember now, but... So yeah, that's basically it. Speaking of, speaking of everyday lives, I've just... This is funny, this is funny. I've just been, you know, watching an old Cartoon Network special, if you recall, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, right? Because I had a little old nostalgia hit. And I remembered Gilbert Gottfried voiced the Santa Claus character in that Christmas special. And I watched it, and it's so, it's so ridiculous how much, how much of these, the stuff, the reference that would have, would have just flew over my head as a kid were just snuck in those movies, right? One thing in particular that I found was amazing is that they managed to sneak in a Clockwork Orange reference, of all things, inside the cartoon. And I was thinking, like, what? what? How how will that even like nowadays? I don't think that would ever get past the censors. But I feel like I feel like whoever wrote these shows, whoever was you know in charge of green lighting them and such, were well aware of what kids would uh, would have and wouldn't known, and the adults who would have you know caught on because I think they're coming from a mindset that. Kids, for the most part, would have been watching these shows with supervision, right? With adults in the room with them. So, the particular references they made weren't so overt and on the nose that a kid would be basically like, Oh, hey, haha, uh, inappropriate reference, right? And that might influence them negatively. But they made it so subtle. Right? and so well done, that adults definitely would have picked up on it, right? But not kids. And one, one thing, one in particular was um, a scene where Billy and Grimm were breaking into a vampire's house. The vampire just so happened to be voiced by the same guy who played Alex the Large in A Clockwork Orange. And, and during that scene, he was humming, singing in the rain. And if you understand that reference, Okay, it definitely would have blown right past my head as a kid, but now as an adult, I was like, oh, 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 oh I see what you did there, Cartoon Network, oh, you sneaky rascals. <laughs> Just, it's, it's kind of messed up thinking about it, because y if you are aware of what that scene entails, it's basically the scene that it's referencing from the Clockwork Orange is where Alex the Large and his, you know, gang of hooligans, right, basically, basically break into an old couple's house and they do stuff some, some really really bad stuff really graphic stuff to that old couple which basically ends in the guy being permanently crippled and the woman eventually committing you know um self migrate <laughs> okay <laughs> that's, that's you know y you get what i mean when i say self migrate okay Sewer, sewer, sewer slide. <laughs> Just... Yeah, yeah. So that's the reference. And they managed to sneak that in. Into a kid's show, which is... Bravo, bravo Cartoon Network. Bravo that you could do that. I don't think they would... Uh, I don't think any show would have been able to um, get away with that in the modern day. But at the same time, at the same time, right? My thinking is that I don't think I don't think any current day writers and showrunners would even have so much as the intelligence, all right, to even pull that off in the first place. Because if you see, you know, cartoons nowadays, it's just there's a reason why nobody pretty much watches Cartoon Network anymore. Right, there's a reason those those networks um, just had a fall from grace. It's partially because of on-demand services like uh, YouTube and Netflix, but I feel like eventually just the quality 
the quality of the writing just just took a nose dive basically that's my opinion at least that's my personal opinion right but anyway anyway <laughs> oh there we go that was meat that was meat we got meat that's good that's good i still have no idea no idea how to tell from the um quest board which ones will give me meat but yeah it's worth trying anyway uh, sure, we get this, and then this, and then... What in bill? Eh, who cares? This. Whew! Anyway, where was I? Uh... Huh. Let's go over here. Mm -hmm. Some new quest. Optional. Three stars. Which one will give me... See, this is the one I'm talking about. Um... This one is Deliver Herbivore X, right? I, f I feel like we could stand to take advantage of that if we go to the um, workshop for a bit, craft myself a Kuliaku headpiece, and get the Pro Transporter buff. I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's one of the Kuliaku armor pieces, but I'm not sure if it's the headpiece in particular, right? Let's see now. Kulu Kulu. Fire resistance, stamina surge. There we go. It's the gloves. Okay. That's good enough. That's good enough. We'll just wear this for the time being. Right? And then. Okay. And then proceed with that quest. Uh, post a new quest. Here we are. Optional. Three star. There we go. Uh, where do I start with? Herbivore eggs. Okay, okay, I remember. The herbivore eggs will be located here, right? And a bunch of the aptonauts will be trying to body block me, basically. Right? As I try to transport them, what will be useful in this kind of class is specifically the ghillie mantle. So we're lucky to have that. Matter, sure. See, we're already feeling the benefits of this already. <laughs> okay, that's... I mean, it's kind of cool, but you get what I mean, you get what I mean. I'm not sure how the RNG works for the canteen when it comes to that stuff, but hopefully I'm correct in my assumption that we can take full advantage of the meat platter if we maximize the amount of canteen ingredients that we have available, specifically in the meat section. The problem is, there is no way to tell which optional quest will give us meat specifically. Eh, doesn't matter. Either way, we'll finish regardless. Okay, so if I remember, we just go down this route and in this particular alcoves, there they are. So we want to equip our ghillie mantle while we do this because where it is. There we go. Yes. Oh, I already feel. Shut up, handler. <laughs> I already feel the benefits of the um handler. I'm trying to. Okay. Okay. I really feel like I should change back the um the language. <laughs> change back the language to one that I can't particularly understand. So I don't get distracted by handler, handler's dialogue or any of the other NPCs while I am trying to talk. Dude, this pro transfer makes a massive difference. W what? Because see, I've 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 played these um you know deliver eggs kind of missions before, right? And oh my god, you feel so slow doing this without pro transporter, and this makes such a huge difference in terms of movement speed. Uh, that is actually ridiculous. Okay, right. And we get so much more, you know, help from our ghillie mantle because this is not a long, this is not a distant trip whatsoever. We can get to, we can go back and forth and get both, essentially, right? With no issues whatsoever, because we don't have to deal with the Aptonauts blocking our way, essentially, right? All we have to, you know, worry about at this point, I guess, is uh, stamina management because we actually, we actually can't see at this point, right? But anyway, you get, you get, you get what I mean. This is a massive difference. I've never actually tried it with Pro Transporter before. 
Huh. Huh. Figure. Go figure. It's actually useful. Huh. Oh well. Here we go. Oh, almost at home base. See, we knocked this mission in like two minutes, 90 seconds basically. Wow. We like we literally speed ran this. Holy sh <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. That's very nice. That's very nice actually. And just like that, we're finished. Before we even used up the ghillie mantle, wow, that, that's that's pretty damn good. That's ridiculously good. Holy, wow. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Moving on. That's good though, because, you know, I don't want to dedicate too much time. Too much of a live stream doing these optional quests, right? But it's interesting to, you know, figure this stuff out, right? Turns out Pro Transporter is very useful for these kinds of missions. Her before egg, uh... Okay, that still counts as meat, I think. I think. Does it? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, let's... let's see. Okay, what other stuff will give me meat? Meat, 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 meat. Ah, uh, nope. Botanical research. You know what I think I could do? Abalone. 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 Abalone would fall into vegetables, I think. Um, this one is Wyvern Eggs. Ah, I think I remember this one. I think I remember that one. Canteen ingredient for Shameless. I think we need that for a deliver item as well. So that's worth getting also. So we have two. Uh, yeah, we have two that are ideal. I think this one and then the Shameless one. So let's start with this just because I'm so happy with the uh, Pro Transporter thing. Uh, didn't, you know, didn't realize how good it would be. Let's go here, do that. Then... Yeah. Oh wait, I still have coffee here. Huh. Alright, no, no, I still have a bit of coffee here. Ah, there we go. Uh, nothing quite like coffee at 11.30 p.m. at night. Oh, boy. And it's hard coffee, too. Like, Jesus Christ. Have we already gotten the food, food buffs? I don't think we have. Okay, I get this. Okay. And then eat up rations so that we can maximize our thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, think, I don't think we've actually unlocked the... um. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. Oh, no, 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 no. I screwed up. I screwed up. We are going to have to go um, cross country for this one, I think. Right? Another option that we can do is that we could just, you know, basically just get rid, alright? Just slay the Wrath of Loss outright. Oh my god, the neighbor's dog. I hope, I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> the neighbor's dog is being too loud. Oh, oh, this is um, a trick that I figured out. Just recently, okay, couldn't reach that. It's because I figured, I, I found out very recently that you could attach yourself to these birds in this part of the forest. And it's, ah, uh, this is a nice detail. Usually they don't take cover in the rain. Like this. There we go. But I, I like that nice detail that they um, cling onto the branches, basically, and take shelter during rainfall. That's a, nice, that's a nice detail. That's very nice. Okay, so what this will do is basically take us to the um, sem se second highest level of the map, right? Where some of the um, Rathalos and Rathian variants hang out. See? This part? It's a bit dark. It's a bit dark, but you know, you get it. You get, you get where this is. God, my game is some. Um, actually, I feel like I should fix that. Options in the graphics. Brightness and... Oh, it's already pretty damn high. <laughs> um, okay, we'll raise it slightly more. Okay, that's marginally better in contrast, but I, don't know, I mean, I guess it's nightfall, so... I should expect... I should expect it to be dark. And... I feel like 
what we could do along this route is we'll look for the on top I think top uh, there's a camp somewhere in this part of the map yes that we could access if this way isn't blocked and it is it is blocked no no it isn't I take that back but it's it's here it's in this part of the map right and it still stands yet to be discovered over here sure we will need to um, accomplish there we go yep Let's ask the head we could stand to um you know um just abandon this quest first and then deliver that thing right let's see now i think we could be source center delivery requests what do we need setting up camp ah, i think we, we can accomplish this quite easily actually i think the best uh, course of action is to abandon class, yeah, return to base. We keep everything you returned. Yes, 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 yes. Do this. We stand to benefit better in accomplishing this mission much faster <laughs> with this particular camp unlocked. Right? So here's what we're going to do. Okay, I just wanted to check if I was muted that entire time. Sometimes I can be stupid. Let's do this. What? Yeah, yeah. Complete deliveries. Yes, yes. Take this. Accomplish that. Good, good, good. And then we will retake that quest as soon as I check out what is completed on my research thingy. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good to know. Right. Let me do a little bit of inventory management before I get back out there. Hide this, hide this, hide this. And then restock if I have the resources. Get that out of the way. I don't see it, sure. We'll take one of these. Always one of those in every quest that we go to. Okay, so let's take that quest again. And you'll see why it will be much easier to accomplish that. Okay, where is that quest? Not here. It's in here? Four star? Yep, yep, this is the one. There we go. Yeah, there we are. The top camp. See? Much easier if you go through here. Okay. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> because, if I recall, the pathway through here is that you go down this route. Okay, we can just max. No, 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 that's not, that's not what I want to do. Max out my rations. Yep. The route is basically, you can't go through here because you cannot go prone or you cannot go through passages while you are carrying an egg, right? So the route here, the fastest route to get back to here, through um, this. No, 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 where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Through this part of the map. Where is that? Hmm. Hold up, hold up. I'm getting confused here. There is the um part, part. Yeah, this part, this part of the map, I think. Yep, I remember. This part of the map, right. Let's pick this up. You go through here, you take a left yes. Or rather, I think. Uh wait a minute. Which which way do I go through here? Let me just recall. What is that screeching? That that has me a bit concerned. Oh, that's, it's those guys. <laughs> I thought it was a larger monster. Okay, so you take a right here. But coming back through here, I guess we will follow the left side, the left route, once we come back through here. Right? So, basically, once I pick up this egg, okay, a Rathian, if I recall correctly, will show up to, um, give me the business as they say okay so i want to put on my gilly mantle pick up the wyvern egg run as fast as i can <laughs> and take us back to camp and deliver this preferably preferably before the gilly mantle expires okay no need to be too careful here no need to be too concerned with stamina because i don't think anything can block my way essentially 
Uh, and since we are going much faster, the uh, stamina depletion part is not that big of a worry as long as I stop every so often. Right? Or at least I stop to walk every so often. I think we go through um, this way, yes. And then to the left. And then to the left. No, not this left. Not quite yet. This left? Ah, there we go. I see the path. I see the path. To the camp. And there we go. That is one egg down. And I think I have enough ghillie mantle to take us back. Deliver. Yes, confirm. There we go. Okay. Then. So we don't have to go back through that way. We could just take this shortcut so we can save up on ghillie mantle time. See? See? Wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. It is at this point I feel like the ration would show up but still hasn't. <laughs> Which, I'm not complaining. Let's not, you know, let's not get it. Let's not get it twisted, I'm not complaining whatsoever that a Rassian hasn't showed up to get in my way <laughs> at this point of, at this point in time. Hey. There. See? Easy peasy. Not a problem. As soon as we make it through the threshold on this left side, right? As soon as we make it past that past that little curtain of vines over yonder. We are basically in the clear and you can consider this mission accomplished and done. <laughs> ah, easy, easy. And there we go. Gilly Mantle, we're, we're off just in time. Huh. That, okay. Which way do I go? Okay, this next part. I really need to pay attention to the minimap. A bit more. Ah. Okay. So there we are. Finally knocked this part of uh, the quest and there we go easy so I think that's about all that we can hope to accomplish at this point of the game so I think we can move on to the main assignments right right so I will just go back to base a bit and check which uh, which armor pieces that we could use to replace the the ones we are currently wearing, because we could we could do so you could we could do with a bit more, a bit more defense essentially. Vibrant egg, yep. That counts as meat. We are good to go. <laughs> okay then, off to the workshop. But here's the thing, I'm thinking about. I've been thinking a lot about how I actually wanted to fight using the um, insect blade because okay although there are a lot of guides out there that try to tell you um oh here's the insect glaive this is what the moves do this is how you do this move this is the ideal combo right but i don't think any of them really goes into depth into depth english how to fully maximize the Kensec, which is, I think, the defining feature of this this thing, the Kensec, the, this guy, which is, I think, the defining feature of this weapon and not just its, you know, mobility. Okay, that's defense boost. Um, wait, what, what was I using before? I think I was using bone stuff. What is available to me? Female? Tempting? Evade extender? Also tempting? Uh, okay. High metal. Interesting. Okay, we don't need that. Alloy. That is so much more defense. Bound braces. Oh, these things look cool, but I don't think, you know, it looks cool, the armor set, but I don't think we um, need sleep attack. Paralysis resistance might also be useful, question mark? Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, okay. Maybe it might it's it's definitely something to consider. But um in terms of useful skills, the blossom set is um leaves leaves something to be desired because I really want to go all in on offensive offensive abilities, right? Or at least abilities that will help me help me be offensive. Uh special ammo boost. I don't think that 
there are certain abilities, right, that it's not particularly um, clear or obvious or evident that they help out, help out certain stuff, mechanics, right? Because you wouldn't think that artillery, you know, is particularly useful for, um, let's see, charge blade and uh, other stuff. But it is. It is a gun lens. I I have a mod specifically that you know elaborates further into detail. It's not perfect, but it does point out which you know <laughs> which mechanics these things these abilities are useful for, especially the ones that aren't particularly clear. But oh well, oh well. Palico rally not useful. I think really in terms of offensive stuff, evade extender might be useful. Now that I think about it, jump master. Uh, maybe, but in terms of defensive stats, I think that really the Legiana set, the current Legiana set that we are using is the best in terms of, you know, useful stuff. Let's see, equip that. How about the helmet? Do I have access to? No, no, I don't. Oh shit, I, I don't even have a charm equipped. Actually, let's see if we can chat. Char char craft. <laughs> craft an actual charm that will be useful for us thunder flood attack boost shoulder bone a uh, boulder bone where do i get well where do i get boulder bone what venom might be useful hmm considering i'm considering right now uh thunder charm ko also might be useful Right, if I'm using the um, blunt sort of uh, kinsect, try charm, anything else, gluts and speed. I do, I do like speed eating. Like it's a lot of these abilities, right? Like item for longer speed eating are extremely underrated. Stinger capacity. Oh, hmm. Tempted right now. Tempted. So I think no matter what, I would like to have at least access to at least one point of stinger capacity regardless but definitely more stinger stinger buffs stinger bonuses are definitely more useful for other weapons than some uh, than some others okay insect charm i don't think it actually helps my insect <laughs> just huh no no it does not no it does not i think it there's one oh no 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 there's there's one i i think it's the um Lynch breathe thing that also gives buffs to um Kinsec. It's just not available, I think, currently in any of these options. Okay, okay, so I'm thinking I think the best thing to go with, right, is slinger capacity. No matter what. No matter what. Okay then. Let's see, how about how about weapons? No, 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 wrong thing, wrong thing, weapons, weapons, insect clay, we, no, 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 we want to go to the upgrade, there we go, see what upgrades we can get up to, we can get one, uh, but it will require us to um, do a bit more farming, and we are missing one particular uh, component material that we haven't discovered yet, which is, okay, or we could, hmm, Purple sharpness. Okay, never mind. I probably won't. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of options. We could, we could go to the Kulu tree down the line, but again, no materials as of yet. The um, hmm, the um, ore tree looks promising because eventually we will get past, which is it. Granted, it's a hidden element, but yeah, I don't think we have access to anything else. We could stand to... Oh, this is... This might be Dodogama? I think, eventually. But that's worth... That's worth going into. We could have, you know, parallel poison stuff and Dodogama stuff. But for now, I think we should just continue with the main quest, which... Uh, Third Fleet Master, I think we need to go to... Research Base that yes yes we do okay there we are <sighs> you know what sometimes you gotta stop and appreciate 
that you know despite this game being six years old it still looks pretty damn good now granted i am using reshade to um enhance the colors a bit but you know now is the time. that is not much effort on my part and if the game can look as modern as it does right with very little effort i think that it that is a well-designed game Oh shit, I... I forgot. I completely forgot to start recording, by the way. <laughs> just... It's I need to remember to do that at the start of every stream. I am very stupid. We are 45 minutes along the live stream. And I've only just remembered. I mean, you didn't miss out much. You didn't miss out much on the first stream. <laughs> or, or rather, on the first 45 minutes. But... Uh, still. still. So probably shouldn't forget about it like? <laughs> anyway, I could not say anyway again I feel Though like we have learned much what we have are mere facts I really, and not really, a single clue really wish that I had truth they add up to change the um language back to Japanese or something is heading there, because I absolutely the world is full cannot of skip these cutscenes yeah. I haven't and installed the um skip cutscene mod Unfortunately, it's very hard for me to talk over when someone else is talking, right? Especially if it's a language that I can understand, because number one, I feel like an a-hole, because it feels like I'm interrupting someone else while they're talking. And number two, uh, just it's just hey, too distracting for me. Too distracting something. for me to form coherent thoughts when I'm trying to listen, listen to someone else. Oh, not. oh boy. Trouble in paradise, maybe. I don't know. As I thought. Yep. I really appreciate the physics. <laughs> I like the part where, you know, the cutscene pretends like this is the first time I've seen Elegiana. Well, in fact, that I have slain this monster more than a couple of times already, I think. We have disturbed its hunting grounds. I don't think it's disturbed particularly. I think this guy is having one hell of a time, by the way. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's so happy right now. He's so happy right now. Just, you know, murdering stuff. <laughs> anyway. I think the uh, next quest is specifically for Legiana. Maybe. Could be wrong. Hey, partner. Oh shit, I forgot. Slow and I... Careful. Hmm. I completely forgot about the um shameless stuff. Okay, so we're supposed to hunt Legiana. I get that. But before we proceed, I think it's worth picking this up. Right, because I, I'm pretty sure I have a delivery quest to accomplish picking up Shamos parts. So let's knock this one off of the checklist before we proceed. There we are. No big deal. It's gonna take more than a few minutes and we'll be right back to the main quest. Okay, okay then. Blue buffs, meat platter, and we get no health buffs. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. Just bad RNG. Bad RNG. Okay, where's the um, where's the thing? There we are. Pick up the food. Yes, yes. And eat one of those rations. I like the part that I can pretend like I could eat in the middle of falling. Right? <laughs> As if I wasn't going to get interrupted no matter what. Oh, hello. That was entirely accidental. There we are. Pick up that uh, buff. Okay, okay. So, again, here's the thing. I really hate this part about this weapon is that I basically need that red buff. Uh, that number one buff. For this weapon to be able to function properly. Ah, uh, it's just... It's just unfortunate design. Unfortunate design. I really wish in the next game it would be implemented much better where I don't feel like I'm obligated to fulfill that condition just to be able to um, feel like I'm optimally using this weapon it's really unfortunate nice mods 
Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like we should be... I should shout out where I got these mods from. Which is from the Nexus mods. And in particular, um, I, if I remember correctly, it's both from the guy called Raranagua and Godashi. And they make very, very good mods. Very high quality mods, right? And what's best is that they don't stray too far away from the original design of the Monster Hunter mods, or rather the Monster Hunter armors. They stay mostly faithful while making them, you know, the way they are. Yep, like this. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, I really appreciate the modders. God bless them. God bless them. And I feel like, I feel like games like this, Monster Hunter, wouldn't have the lifespan that it does if it wasn't for based modders like that, right? Because yes, this game is almost perfect as it is, even without the mods, right? But I feel like the quirks that it does have, the fact that uh, mods can just be released that can iron those out and make your experience just that much more smooth, that much more user-friendly. Like I was just saying, not more than five minutes ago, about the skip cutscenes mod, right? This game, the base game, does not allow you to skip cutscenes by default, even though you, you know, watch those cutscenes in an earlier playthrough. It just doesn't let you do that for some reason, which is a strange design decision. You, you would think that that would come by by default, but it doesn't, and you kind of need a mod to do that. The fact that you can just get a mod, right, and install that, and it fixes that issue really goes a long way in just making these games so much more tolerable. And you gotta respect it, you gotta appreciate it, that the community just does so much to help these games out. And you can't help but feel like, you know, the, the stance that Capcom has, when it comes to mods in its own games, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't think they realized how important it is that relationship is between the developers and the community modders, right? Oh my god, these guys are unfortunate. I'm being interrupted all the time. There we go, sharp claw. Okay, time to die. Okay, one more. You will save that until we finish carving. Right. Oh, gun, gun. Okay, last one before I, you know, absolutely murder these clowns. Okay, now you die. There we go. Get that guy while I work on this guy as well. I do like that, you know, the kinsa can be used as a as a sort of secondary source of DPS, right? And I feel like, again, could be better implemented. I'm sure there's a, a bunch of mods out there that modify the uh, Kinsec as well. I don't use them because I feel like, you know, I haven't played enough hours of this game that I feel comfortable changing the game balance, as it were. So far, I'm only ever using mods that uh, are entirely cosmetic, basically, right? And because, I, again, I did say that a lot of mods that help out this game in terms of smoothness, quality of life, blah, blah, blah. A lot of them also affect gameplay, the balancing, the RNG, right? And since I haven't, I felt like I haven't played enough hours of it. I don't feel like I've earned those quite yet. I don't feel like I've even finished the entirety of the DLC content as of yet. In one playthrough, spoiler alert, in another playthrough, I have beaten Shawa Ishvalda. But at the same time, I feel like that's only half of the DLC, which is ridiculous to think about. Because from the point of finishing the base game, which is after... Oh, meet good, 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 good. <laughs> exactly what we needed. Like, at the point of, you know, between finishing the um, base game, hey, final boss, which is the Xenojiva, and getting to Shara Ishvalda, that's a whole lot of content already. And the fact that there is even more content beyond that, I feel like 
I feel like Monster Hunter World Iceborne particularly is up there like really up there at the top of the mountain in terms of one of the best value best value DLCs it's I don't think it even deserves to be called a DLC per se I think it's really up there in terms of expansion levels equivalent equivalent to frozen throne and brood war right and if you are that much of a boomer <laughs> that you remember those games that is ridiculously high praise ridiculously high praise regardless of what you think blizzard has turned into they used to make the greatest games ever absolutely ever and to compare a dlc to brood war and frozen throne is one of the highest highest praises i think that you could ever possibly hope to achieve from an old school gamer uh, like yours truly right anyway okay i feel like i screwed up i um i think i screwed up i should have spawned in this one because i feel like this would make my life so much easier because if i remember correctly legion has a habit of landing in this particular alcove to the left here you will see very shortly there we go legiana footprints it does have a tendency to show up in this part of the map very frequently he hasn't shown up just yet but i feel like he will very soon i think i just while i'm waiting for him i might as well take the time to find his tracks so that he okay here we go so here's the challenge, okay? We need to pick up. There we go. Okay. Stop screaming. I would appreciate it if you... Okay, there we go. That was close. Okay. Okay. So what we do from here is... Do this. Grab onto his face. And run him against the wall. So here's the part where slinger capacity would be very much useful. Okay? Or at least, you know, if I was using a different kind of stinger ammo, it's because after a wall slam like that, like a proper, a properly, you know, uh, what am I even trying to say? A proper stinger capacity ammo type will be something like stone. Is that basically you can do that wall bang and you'd have enough stinger ammo. You need at least one to do a wall bang, a second one, like this, there we go, and that didn't reach, I am very stupid, <laughs> oh no, anyway, I think it's time to get a mount off, there we go, easy, okay, so one of the pros to this weapon is that getting off a mount is really easy, and once you are in the mount position, simply switching positions, behind the monster like this deals damage which is i think the only weapon in this game that does that it's a it's a mechanic uniquely specific to this weapon and i appreciate that so much <laughs> more than you realize though. okay okay i think we can finish up this combo like that that is a lot of damage i think Whew. Poor iceberg. Hey, look. Listen. Listen. Okay? It's fine. It's just the way things are. It's the food chain. Okay? <laughs> You'd be surprised that there are an the amount of Legionas in this game. Or, I, or rather, in this universe. Because I feel like, I think it's technically canon, that the hunters are partially partially responsible for population control of certain monster types if i recall correctly i may be wrong about that right i think that's part of their mission statement is to i think stabilize uh what do i call this ecosystems that's the word i'm looking for that's part of their mission statement the hunter sort of society is to stabilize ecosystems by controlling overpopulation of certain monsters like this. And I really like that about this game as well. 
that the um, in-world lore is internally consistent, right? A lot of games sometimes don't put in that much effort, or rather a lot of IPs don't, and I appreciate that this one does. Let's see, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we have enough ammo for another while back, but I, I think we need to um, position better. There we go. There we are. Into the wall. Okay, pick up this stuff. We're almost about to run out of the um, the Diana stuff, by the way. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, the Diana stuff. I meant to say is the insect buffs. There we go. We did get one back. Okay. You know, so the good part about this game, again, sometimes this game has bad RNG. Other times, if you have played enough, sometimes you notice that there are certain parts of this game that aren't specifically RNG and that the monsters will follow a pattern. So basically, you already know if that a monster retreats from one particular area, that they are guaranteed to go to a specific part of the map in certain HP thresholds, like this. And I will slam him into that guy. There we go, that hits. <laughs> oh, that's good. Huh. Okay, I can just do this. Okay, whoa, whoa. I didn't get the um, thing. Oh no, I don't think I have any more thinner capacity. Where there is thinner ammo. Okay. Can I slam this guy? Oh no, that doesn't quite hit. Oh, didn't it? Huh. I think it might have. Okay, other MHK games before? Ah, see, here's the thing. This is the first one. <laughs> Back here. This is the first Monster Hunter game that I've played, but I feel like that's explained somewhere. I can't quite recall where I've heard of it. But I do remember. I do remember that part of the lore is that, you know, that is one of the um, particular duties of the uh, monster hunters. Is population control, basically. And I'm almost dead. Oh, hello. Convenient. Very helpful. Thank you, Giri. Okay. Well, I, I need to find... There we go. Stone. Useful. Thank you very much. Okay. I need him to get the number one buffs. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's see if I can... There we go. Oh shit, I got hit. In mid -air. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a mount off just yet. I feel like I've hit him quite a few times in the air. Enough to get a second mount, but nope. Apparently not the case. Let's try and go for it. Okay, that was a lot of hits, but apparently not enough for a mount still. There we go. This game is a little loud compared to your voice, by the way. I will fix that in a moment. I will fix that in a moment. Okay. Probably when this guy retreats to his base, uh, which should be very shortly. Okay, okay. Sharpness issues. Sharpness issues. Okay. Not retreating. Interesting. Hopefully this reaches the wall. Ah, there we go. Nice. There we go. Probably going to retreat now to um, the top of the map. And I think we can take the time. Okay, I take that back. He's not retreating. <laughs> huh. I had thought that I had dealt enough damage to him, but apparently not. Oh, there we go. That's another knockdown. Good. Okay, combo. Okay, he's almost dead. Huh. Look at that. We could do the thing where we capture him, but I don't think I have any capture thingies with me at the moment. Okay, so we can adjust the volume here. He is definitely going back to his nest, so... 
can take the time to um, lower the game volume, just generally. Okay, sound effect volume. There we are. And hopefully that is good enough, BGM. I think it's good enough. Okay, 20% decrease. Take this time to sharpen. And we will fly up to his nest in just a second. I kind of wish we had the glider mantle at this point. The glider mantle gives us that shortcut up to his nest using the um, part of the map that uses the updraft. Okay, okay. At the very least, I think I should be grateful we have access to the um, claw beetles. I, I don't remember what they're called. The beetles that you basically latch onto. Out of stamina. Oh boy. Okay, here we are. Pick up some stone on the way. Get this guy. Oof. I also think that, you know, this part of the game is really good where the, the parts where the monster sort of retreats to other parts of the map. I think that's actually genius and I didn't, I never appreciated it until recently when I realized that it really makes the combat sort of, ah, how do I describe this? <laughs> but, okay, put it this way, put it this way. Take it from a movie analogy, right? When in movies, when you do action scenes, you don't want the high energy, high velocity, very loud, very action scenes to drag on too long, right? Because, um, do I have any might seeds with me? I wish I had barrels right now, explosive barrels. No, I don't have might seeds, huh? I'm pretty sure I stocked one up. Okay, anyway. Let's just do this. Okay, there we go. Get that, and... And don't get hit, please. There we are. And, ah, surprised I didn't get more of the other buffs. But oh well. Oh crap. Okay, take it easy now. Ooh. So, what I was just saying is that in movies when you do action scenes, you kind of want to break up the pace of the combat every now and then with moments of, you know, um, let's just say slowing down, as it were. And the whole mechanic where the monster retreats from combat during certain intervals into different parts of the map sort of does that to make sure that the fights do not drag on for too long and at the same time keeps the environments that you fight them in dynamic because you're not fighting them in the same place for too long. And I think that's really, really smart from a game design perspective. Right? Again, part of what makes games like this classic is just, you know, they just implemented implemented stuff that is that ages very well, let's put it, right? That are sort of universal. That this game just has naturally, you know, fluent, diverse combat. At the same time, the whole every mechanic that just plays into it serves the whole the, the entire whole, right? The sum, it's much more than a sum of its parts, let's just say. But when you stop to analyze it's that the parts of it are also so very well implemented that sometimes it's hard to appreciate them being there. But when you do, you start to notice that, oh yeah, that thing that they did with the game, that's pretty, pretty dang smart and pretty dang cool that they thought of that. I'm going to need you to slow down, buddy. <laughs> You've had the skull emoji for a while now, and you still haven't died. Can you slow it down for a bit? There we go. Do this. Okay, I'm surprised that barely hit. Okay, let's see now. Ooh, okay. Bad move. Bad move. There we go. <laughs> he actually killed him with the insect wave, or rather with the beetle. Now we can get to the base of the Rotten Vale. Come on, let's head back to the research base. Okay, so knock that up quickly. Not as quick as I'd like, but still pretty fast. Ah, 
Which reminds me, oh god, I really, really should have taken the time to um, pick up some of the uh, other materials that we've gotten along the way. That we would have gotten along the way, which are the bone piles and the other stuff. The other mining crops. Because I don't think we will have a whole lot of time to play around with, you know, farming basically. Because what we are trying to accomplish is basically speedrunning this game. Ah, there we go. Okay. Next up. If I remember correctly... Got a bunch of stuff, cool. Managed to pick up a Legiana plate, which is very lucky. Did I get Monster Bone, Sturdy Bone? I don't think any of these are... Hmm. I think Monster Bone is the one that we were, we were missing for the next upgrade. Ah, it's a shame that I only picked up one of those. Safari, upgrade. Okay, okay. These are nice. Nice to hear. How incredible. Alright, the time has come. Let's head down to the bottom of the veil. Anyway. Yes. Let's do some more adjustment with the um, sound effects. That, and then raise this up. There we go. Okay, moving on. I think the next part. Now is the time. Okay, Rottenville, <laughs> thought so. Can I? Doesn't let me reduce that. Oh well. God, um, hmm. I feel like we should have taken a. There have to be traces of Zora Magdros down here somewhere. A little detour to the workshop. Know what the rotten veil is. Oh my God, we, we absolutely get no bonuses <laughs> from the meat platter. Ah, ugh, that's rough. That's rough. I think we have no choice to just take up fish platter anyway just to take full advantage of the stats mm -hmm. god that sucks you know you know the part earlier where where i said that i would just you know just pick the um, meat platter bonuses specifically that part moving forward right okay so i'm i'm very bad at keeping promises <laughs> hopefully we get better but yeah i just really really would want to maximize the um, stats right now because we don't have a lot to work with let's face it let's face us. it especially since we are fighting a monster that's Wait, not particularly to... tanky but also it's pretty i think he's pretty fast right i think old garwin is next on the plate you figured it out too haven't you what the rock I mean, veil really is to be fair to be fair To be fair, we have quite a bit of mobility to work with Is with our insectlave. Yikes! Don't touch it! Pick up the stone instead of the uh, slinger pods. Okay, here we go. Cutscene incoming. I know we've reached the bottom. I also really appreciate that the cutscenes are. At least I don't but think they're pre-rendered, right? Quite There's obviously no aren't, but they're basically just uh, same in-game rendering with a slight filter added on top. I think we should split up and look. <laughs> and I wish more games. I think a lot of games do actually do that, and the games that that don't could learn a lesson <laughs> because this shit, this stuff holds up. It holds up really well, and it really, really. Lends itself well to, let's say, immersive scene or rather, cutscene transitions, right? And Monster Hunter does that really well, as you will see once this once this cutscene ends. You will notice. You will notice. You'll know it when you see it. Right? 
this seamless transition between cutscene and gameplay. It'll make itself evident in a bit, just a bit. Nope, I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> we don't even know this person. No, she can't hold that thing off. Uh, we've got to help her. God, you're way too nice. I feel like in this situation, I would just book it. I hope she's okay. Like, I don't care if she's like a granny or anything. <laughs> like a complete stranger in an underground cave full of dangerous large monsters. I'm not. I'm not sticking around. I'm sticking around to help out old ladies, suspicious old ladies carrying crossbows filled with dung ammunition. No, no thank you. No thank you. I think I'll live. <laughs> As a certain sloth once said, I choose life. <laughs> ah, oh and there it is. He spotted me. Oh well. Okay. Ooh, Mark Bone. I think that's um that's very important. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I'm very glad we managed to pick up the um, red buff as soon as we did. But now, I wish we had picked up... Oh, watch out. We had picked up the other buffs as well. I mean, technically, you only ever need the red buff, right? But having access to all buffs will be even nicer. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's the... Uh, call this thing back and set him to just passively attack him. There we go. And let's see if we can get a mount off. Hmm. I mean, probably shouldn't, all things considered. He's not enraged just yet. I think we have an opportunity here to take advantage of... Uh, not like that. To take advantage of his you know, state of non, non-enragedness. Nope, nope. He's enraged now. Good. Never mind. <laughs> that didn't last long. Oh, watch yourself. So, we just need to get the mount off and nice. Okay. Whoa. Okay, here we go. I think I want to work on his tail a little bit. A little bit. Any asteroid directly? I think we managed to pick one up. We managed to pick one up in the um, box thingy, right? before we started the mission. If I recall correctly, we did. Okay, so I want to work on his tail here. Just to cut that off. I mean, it kind of sucks that I think this monster doesn't have any moves that affect him if he managed to cut his tail off, right? Some monsters do that. Oh, where, did, where the hell did he go? Some monsters do that, basically. Where, if you cut off Right, certain parts of them, like horns and such, and tails, it affects their entire moveset, right? Unfortunately, I feel like that is not the case for this monster, and he will just stay still, please. <laughs> right? See, like, for a monster like this, he's so mobile and so jumpy all over the place. I think we could benefit from you know, having an advantage, or rather giving him a disadvantage if we cut off his tail. But as far as I can tell, that is not a mechanic that is, you know, present in this monster. Neither is it in uh, Jiro's, I think. Which is weird, because it, it's it's there in the other monster. Uh, which, which one was he called? Raduban. Raduban, right? That giant rolly monster where if you cut off his tail, it's significantly affects his mobility while he's rolling. Oh, and I did not mean to do that. Oh shit! That was a mistake. <laughs> I mean, he fell for it too, to be fair. But oh well. At least I think... There we go. We recover sort of faster. So we can do this. Tenderize that tail. And nice. Right. And there we go. Okay. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons, but oh well. Oh, ah, work on that tail. Okay, watch out. Ouch. That's bad. Ooh. Ooh. Dodge it. Can we get another mod buff? I mean, we probably shouldn't. I think we have an opportunity to do a wall bang here. There we go. One more. And this is probably a bad angle. 
Never mind. That's good enough though. Ah, we lost the buff. Unfortunately, but we got the tail, which is good enough. Ooh. Oh, he almost got hit there. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love that move. It's so satisfying to hear that, you know, multiple hit crunching sound that the insect does when he runs through the monster. We unfortunately did not manage to feed it any slinger ammo before we did that, so... We didn't get the full buffs, but oh well. Not that it matters. It's fine though, because he switched places. Ah, anyway. So... Where is this mission? I think we still need to, um... Figure out a way to be able to farm the weapons that we need. Because for this run, I think it serves us to just focus on poison and blast. Right? Because I feel like... I think it's just personal opinion. I haven't, you know, done any research on it whatsoever. But I feel like the most valuable elements in this game, or rather element effects, is blast and poison specifically because they are so universal. Right? That most monsters aren't particularly resistant to them. And if they are, they're still affected. And it's just bonus damage regardless. So if anything else fails, right? You are better off picking up blast and or poison. Just to just blind it against any monster. And it'll be pretty damn useful. Oh my god. The miasma is absolutely killing me right now. Can I get a mount off? Please, game! Okay. Oh, there it is. Yes, this, let me get this first. Ouch! Okay. Okay, he missed, technically, but... Where's my stair jerky? There we go. Oof. Take advantage of this. While he's exhausted to do some extra damage. And there we go. Oh, we have an opportunity for a wall bang. There we go. Into the wall you go. Nice. Do this and Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh wait, I didn't realize we actually got the thorn pods on him. Oh, that sucks for you, buddy. There we go. Ah shit. we ran out of Corn pods. We could have gotten a second wall bang there, I feel like. But I feel like the opportunity hasn't gone too far from us. Okay, big damage now. Big damage. It's unfortunate we lost that buff so early, but here we go. Okay. Ooh, paralyzed. Oh my god, that's very convenient. <laughs> okay. Eat shit, buddy. Okay. Not showing signs of low health just yet. But the fact that we've gotten, I don't know, two slave pots? I think he is very close to it. <sighs> if not, right on that door. The sculling mode you should be showing up any second now, I feel like. I I don't know why it hasn't yet. Ooh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Yeah, nice. I was hoping for the um, next mounting opportunity. It's unfortunate though that we um, haven't sharpened our weapon yet, but oh well. I don't think we'll need it. If we are slamming into his head, which is basically tenderized permanently. And whoa, okay. This is... Awkward. <laughs> um, he got paralyzed just before we um, knocked him down. Uh, okay. Okay, hopefully. Hopefully this time. Okay. Now we get him. Oh, right. Awkward. Awkward moment where we don't have enough sharpness to um, pull off a combo. But I feel like he should be retreating at some point. Okay, there we go. Right, now we have an opportunity. Now we have an opportunity to slow down and go to the camp. 
stock up, sharpen our weapons. Take a bit of inventory. So I feel like we'd be closer here. Yep, definitely. He's going back to his usual hideout. And do I have... Uh, I think we have barrels in my item box here. Let me just check. Manage items. So this is uh, the thing I need to keep reminding myself to bring. Right? Fine. We'll take two barrels like that. Because I don't... I'm not sure. I haven't tested it yet. I don't know which part of this weapon's moves that deals the most damage for wake-up attacks, right? A lot of other weapons have that by default, and it's very intuitive to find them. This weapon, I'm not so sure. I haven't tested yet. I haven't played enough, right? So I have to keep reminding myself to bring along barrels just in case I catch them, you know, lacking like this, <laughs> sleeping basically. Because it's very, very useful to take advantage of this, um, the times two damage modifier for when they're asleep. So, hey, buddy, um, we will take the time to farm the bone piles around his nest if I can find the second one. I'm pretty sure. There we go. There's a second one. There we are. Then we can set up the barrel bombs. Do I even have slinger ammo? No, I don't. Oh well. Use the clutch claw. Put this down here and large barrel. Oh, the large barrel. You can't even sit down the other barrel. Okay, that's. I uh, made a mistake then. Never mind. <laughs> there we are. I like how it still dealt damage to me, even though I wasn't even, you know, I wasn't in its range when it blew up. But oh well. Not having stinger ammo sucks for this. But we'll make do. Okay, buddy. Oh no, that didn't hit. Bad. Let's try this again. Try this again. Uh, oh no, no, no. Took damage. Okay. Okay, while he's exhausted like that, do this. There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Do this and infinite combo because we can. I think we have enough time. Here we are. Good, good. It's enough damage. And, oh my god. I think that is the third time the insect actually killed the monster for me. <laughs> I'm surprised how much damage this guy deals just passively and I just let him loose. You know what? I just remembered. I'm a very stupid person. I might have forgotten to carve his tail. Now that I realize. Right? I might have forgotten. Let me just check. It's a good thing that I wasn't too far from it, but okay. I think I carved it. Oh, uh, that happens way too often with me. I mean, I don't know. Probably because probably because it just just, just comes so naturally to me to, to just cut off the tail by default. And then sometimes I just forget that I cut off its tail. And then I move on to the next part of the map and then I forget to carve its tail. And it just uh, wasted, wasted material for me. Hey, next mission. I'm trying to remember. Because I really, really want to optimize this run so I don't waste time. Right, so I can get the right materials for the next set of armors. I think after this. Where is she? I thought she'd be with you. I can't remember. Never mind. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm going out for another look. No, you're not. Ah. I'm confused by that part. I, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just in her personality to be like that towards strangers. Thank you. Oh, I feel like I remember. This was the same person that had, that saved us from the um place before, the core before. Ah, okay. So I'm very stupid, I, I guess, I think, again. She's not a stranger. I can't believe I forgot about that. She did now save us before everything. already from the Coral what Highlands in an earlier cutscene. But yeah, okay, I take back everything I think, that I said before. I I'm just very the stupid. Is where the monsters <laughs> come to die. It's their graveyard, and this whole land is a vast ecosystem revolving around it. See, again, mm. again with the well sought out 
internally consistent world building. This part of the world exists for a reason, and it looks the way it does for right. a reason as the well. Vale is where monsters come to rest. It's really cool. It's really cool. And make their way here. Hopefully, they can maintain that you know level of internal consistency their in the next game. God, God, I'm so so apprehensive of Monster Hunter life. Wilds if it ever comes out, or oh, rather, when it comes out next again. year. <laughs> for cat. <laughs> it's an but ecological anyway, marvel. What I was I uh, what I was saying is that one that easily dwarfs Considering any if Dragon's yeah. Dogma 2 is anything to come but by. The thing really about Dragon's Dogma 2 is that question? although What's I haven't that? played it, but from what I've seen of it and other people Who's playing it, it, it seems to be very similar, I guess, to the original Dragon's Dogma, with a certain few mechanics simplified. Now, now, What's the that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? You know Considering my criticisms of the um, insect grave and its reliance on the Bingo. red buff that might not necessarily be a bad thing and considering place. the amount of you know, complaints this game also gets considering the clutch claw and the mechanics around uh, tenderizing again maybe not such a bad thing to simplify a few mechanics or that are you know I've gotten here. a few criticisms, but, but I'm worried about some other stuff that done. might also Was get to uh, just an un unjustified amount of dumbing know. down, right? Which would be unfortunate. The first but let's just let's just hope. Let's just hope the act they actually Capcom actually hits on the correct things when it does happen Look, to come out next year. It's raining There's light. also, again, the possibility that it, it might be delayed, which, again, not complaining if they have to take their time to compose a complete game by the time it actually releases. <laughs> right? Which is a complaint that a lot of if AAA games, companies, developers years. have these days, especially the Western Maybe ones. That Right? Just long enough to but, see the end again, of the, of the, guard. the recent game, Dragon's Dogma 2, the base game, Friends, came out. You go Not this. much issue in that while. direction. The only major criticism I see, felt like Dragon's give, Dogma has, has encountered spring. is, number one, the performance issues, right? Optimization and stuff. And number two is the microtransactions, which, again, as of it coming out, Dragon's Dogma 2, is not particularly egregious relative to well let's just say monster hunter world and iceborne <laughs> because if you take a look to the steam page of this game and go down to the dlc section oh boy oh boy <laughs> uh let's just say let's just say it's not looking particularly good, good. right so when you compare the DLC of Dragon's Dogma 2 to something <laughs> like Monster Hunter World, Iceboard, you can do this. and maybe let's say let's say Devil the May Cry. Might be able to tell us it's where actually, is. relatively speaking, Yo. an improvement. But again, that's a low bar. To be fair, quite talented mantle that it's very useful, very useful. Yeah, that is not a particularly high bar to set in terms of, you know, microtransactions, ideally it wouldn't exist, right? But again, I feel like the philosophy around it, at least at the very least, the way Dragon's Dogma 2 implemented it, is to make it accessible to casuals <laughs> who do not have a whole lot of time to dedicate to the game to farm, you know, menial items, let's put it that way. I will discuss slightly, uh, slightly in more elaboration once I figure out what I want to do with these bloody tickets. So I have a bunch of Spring Blossom tickets, and hmm, finally RNG, RNG Lady in Iceborne. Oh right, Alter. <laughs> uh, I guess that's what you mean. But yeah, oh well. I mean, I don't use her much. To be fair. Uh, I think next thing we want to do, I want to check out what are these quests. 
these optional quests here. No, no, no. Gathering Hub is the wrong place to go. I'm very dumb again. Nah, no. Didn't want to end up here. That was a misclick. I'm so sorry. You know what? You know what's wrong with the Gathering Hub, by the way, since we're here? Even though I'm playing single player, and even though I guess this place was sort of designed to have other players show up on it, it still feels kind of hey, partner. kind of barren, in my opinion, right? Especially the canteen. At least when you compare it to, I don't know, the canteen in Astera by default. I mean, watch this. You have people, right? The first Other NPCs just hanging Zora around like this. Working which is not present Good in the luck. Gathering Hub. But again, I guess it's specifically for the express reason that it's designed to have other players show up in it. So I guess I can't much complain in that direction. Two lumps of meat. That is potentially a quest, optional quest to unlock more meat options in the canteen. So I will keep that in the back of my head for now. Armory, what do you have for me? I've got new stock in. Okay, nothing new. Okay, let's check the upgrade upgrade options. Mm. I think Warp Bone or Monster Bone Plus is the next material that we need for the next upgrade. Yes. Unfortunately, we are lacking in Puke Puke stuff to progress. What else do I need? What else do I need? Okay. Okay. Could go further in this. The ore direction? Doesn't give us an element to play with, which is unfortunate. Right? It's not even that much of an improvement in terms of damage. So again, not ideal. <laughs> we might need to farm hardbone. No element to play with, which is no again. <laughs> we might need to farm another Puke Puke. Hopefully we only need to kill one more. But I think we have one more optional quest to knock out. Specifically for that guy. Special arena too, so we don't have to uh, run towards him to find him. Okay, okay, we'll knock this one off. Off of the list. In quick succession. So that we can move on with our lives. Upgrade our weapon and then proceed with the main quest. Right. Money, meat platter. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> even if it's only one. Uh, even if it's only plus 10 to our max health. We will take it anyway. Because we want to. I want to just maximize damage. No matter what. Uh, put all of this in storage. Pick up one of the might seeds. Okay, let's do this. Stock up like that. One of the might seeds. And probably an antidote potion. Oh, we already have one. Okay. Okay, there we are. Hopefully, so if I recall correctly, we need one poison sack, two quills, and one toxic thingy? If I remember. We need two sack like things, if I remember. Jesus Christ, my memory is terrible. Literal goldfish memory, by the way. And I forgot to switch out the uh, uh, the vitality mantle. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Do this. We eat the mite seed. Do this. There we go. Feed our insect with one thingy. And we want to do this. There we go. Nope. We kind of missed. Get the ah, went the number one buff. Okay, okay. Let's try this again. It's a insect, by the way. Oh, it's on me. So we want the number one buff, and like that can get it. Nope, that's number three. Let me get the number one buff, please. Nope. <laughs> ah, come on. See again. I feel so dumb. Or rather, I feel like it's so dumb that I have to be bound by the buff mechanic just to make full use of this weapon. Two, three. I think that's good enough. 
Okay. I call bullshit. How come that doesn't hit? I call bullshit. That doesn't hit the wall. It absolutely does. Okay. Okay. Okay, asshole. Come back down here. Could you come back down here? Buddy. What? What? What are you doing there? Who are you fighting? Hello? Come back down here. There we go. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Appreciate that. Do this. Okay. And I get... There we go. Want that. I wish I hit the tail though. Okay, never mind. We'll just... We just clutch claw onto his tail manually. I feel like I'm wasting so much time though. Okay, let's do this again. There we are. Right. Now, pick up the stuff. There we go. Oh, we actually got the tail already. And the mount shortly after. Excellent. Okay, buddy. What are you going to do? You're screwed. You're poisoned. You have a guy on top of your head literally stabbing you in the eye. I, 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 you know what? <laughs> I'm starting to feel... I'm starting to agree with Bracky. <laughs> or rather, you know, Gangster Reverse Sorry. I'm starting to feel sorry for these monsters. You literally have me. Like, stuck onto the top of their head. Stabbing them right in the eye of all places like i actually feel like an asshole right now. <laughs> okay buddy come here what are you doing where are you going come here come here i'm trying to lure you into the boulder right now come back here oh really it's just going to be stupid like this ouch okay Antidote. Okay, so you stay right here. Oh, deep. Distract him. Keep him there. There we go, well done. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. And combo him to death. Oh, no, no, no. Sharpness issue. Come on. Game. Right, anyway. Huh, probably a bad idea to do this right now. Yep, it was. Actually, I have a gill mantle. Why don't why don't I take advantage of it? Right? Let's not be stupid here. Let's not be stupid. There we are. Okay, so we have a third pod. And I think there we go. That's right. Come closer to the wall. There we go. And into the wall. Nice. This. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh boy. Okay, he's enraged. I think it's a good opportunity to try to get off a mount again. Hopefully. Hopefully, he will be close to dead by the time we do. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I don't feel the need to, you know. Oh my god, that is a lot of stamina gone. <laughs> okay, let's move to his head to just maximize the damage when we do the flurry attack. <sighs> oh no, 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 no. That was close. He wouldn't have enough stamina for that. Okay, never mind. He just sort of fell down by himself. And he's dead. <sighs> so hopefully... Hopefully we get the word parts. We need two quills. Okay, we needed that one, I think. Sack, maybe? Okay. Neither of those are what we need. Uh, hopefully this one can get it. This one can get me something useful. Please. Please. Uh, get me something useful. Tail. 
I mean, that makes sense, but still. <laughs> oh, we might need to um, do this again. Okay, that was just disrespectful, I feel like. I probably shouldn't have done that. Regardless. Regardless. <sighs> okay. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We get what we need. Come on, game. Come on, game. Give it to me. Give it to me. And here we go. Here we go. Can I get it? Mm. Oh, shh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me just drink some water. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. This is quite awkward. Ah, we needed two of these. Maybe I could check, and we only needed one more of these poison sacks, I think. It's nice that we got an extra one of these, but again... Again, we only needed an extra one of these. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate that we missed out. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. The first Wyvarians might be able to tell us where Zora Magdaros is. Okay, okay. I will be with you in a bit. Um... Wait, where was I going? Oh, Botanical Garden. Oh, it's you. I... Ah, we really need to get more upgrades for this thing. Wait, take, take, take this stuff. And I think we need to cultivate something else. Um, are you sure? Fertilize that. And there we are. Now let's see. Let's see if the Melder can give us a Puke Quill. If it's even available here. Ah, nope. Nope. Nope, nope, it is not. Oh my god, this is silly. This is very silly. Ah, we only needed one more. Grr. Kind of awkward now. Kind of awkward. Okay, okay. Uh, upgrades, weapons... See, we only needed one more quill. Yikes. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We could go for... Uh, do we need lightning? I don't think we need lightning. There is the dragon option, but we don't have enough monster bones. Yeah. We only needed one more. One more thing. I mean, I guess that depends. Where is our... Ancient forest. Okay. First five very clues. Okay, so here's the hope. Okay, here's the hope. Here's the hope that we find a Puke Puke somewhere along the way. And we can kill it fast enough to be able to get what we need. Let's see. Um so we stop and take one more might seed. Then go for an expedition into the ancient forest. Yeah, why not? Northwest camp. I think that's where we need to go. Actually, probably not. But eh, I want to find I want to find that Puke Puke if it ever shows up here. Hopefully, it does. Here we are. You know the drill. Start looking for clues. Something extra. Let's split we up already ate Don't food. Worry. I'll be careful this time. Yeah, okay. I'm not worried. She has all the plot armor in the world. She'll be fine. <laughs> That's ridiculous plot armor. That is Anjanath footprints, which we don't need. Pick this up. Okay, usually shows up here. And hopefully, we might find some tracks. But I think this is one of those cases, right? Since this is an assigned quest, that he might not show up. I mean, we have Vanjana out here. But he's not. It's not what we're looking for. Oh boy. So, you might need to, um, you know, curb our expectations a little bit. And backtrack. 
backtrack just a bit. But let's see if we actually find any Puke tracks. Maybe we will? But again, I'm leaning more likely towards the direction of a no we won't. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think we I don't think we do. I don't think we do find it. These so are mostly going to be Anjanath tracks. So let's just, you know, abandon this a little bit. And just go straight to where we would be most likely to find the um, Zora Magdros tracks, right? The actual assigned mission objective. So we don't have to bother wasting our time with Anja. Unless we want to, by the way. I mean, he doesn't have any particular... Where do I put this? In particular monster parts that we need at the moment, right? I mean, basically, I do not care at all about his existence at the moment. He's not an issue. Uh, let's make our way back to one of the first areas. There's a great Jagras about. Not that we need him either. Or maybe we do. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Let's see now. Any outcrop, I will take it. Nothing particularly valuable out of that. Let me see now. Okay, oh, so I feel like we're only going to get Great Janga's footprints out here. Unfortunate. <laughs> there is also the unfortunate part where Alexander basically does not tell us wherever we actually need to go. Okay, that's a start. Where does this lead us, by the way? Oh, I feel like... Hmm. I feel like... This may be the part where we... Um, discover... Athanos? Question? Maybe. Oh, hey buddy. Fancy seeing you here again. Still not interested <laughs> in dealing with you, by the way. Let's see now. Footprints, Anjanath stuff, okay. I'll take this though. I, I don't know what benefit that serves me, but oh well, I'll take it. Okay, so let's see now. If I had to second guess, if I had to second guess, where the scout flies, based on where the scout flies are taking me, by the way. This might very well be um, the part of the quest that introduces us to the thing, Wrath of those, because it's taking us pretty, pretty high up. Yep, this is basically the area. Um, scale, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, buddy. I'm tempted to just kill that thing and take its skin right now, but I don't think we need it. <sighs> yeah, I don't think uh, we are meant to fight anything in this part of the expedition. Oh, hello. Our tracks, very useful. Much appreciated. And bone piles. Okay, I'll take a moment to take this detour. Pick up the bone piles like so. Not giving us anything, I think. We need to go to specific places, like the um, boulder, boulder monster bones, to be able to get those, which might only show up in uh, the coral highlands. And I'm not sure if it's the rotten bill as well, but probably there as well. Hmm. But the uh, are these? Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> What? Looks like we both arrived at the same place. Oh hey, I, I did not notice her costume change, huh? I, just <laughs> I feel like I just noticed this right now. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Hammer is locked. This is cutscene incoming. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. 
The trail seems to stop here. All right. There he is. Arathalos. There is your boy. You know, I will be honest. I will be honest. I really, really, actually hate fighting the flying monsters in this game. <laughs> actually, unironically do. Also, if I remember correctly, ah, I should have used the, the thing. I'm pretty sure there's a speedrun stat that lets you, that forces the Rathalos to fight you in this part of the um campaign. Right? You go through, through this whole whole cutscene, and there is a path that the Rathalos takes, where if you plant a stasis trap, a paralysis trap, I, I meant to say. A paralysis trap in his general path. Hey. You will catch him, and if you catch Look. up to him, you will be able to just fight him straight up. Get his, you know, his parts basically. Found you. I really like that guy's costume. <laughs> this guy's really cool, by the way. First librarian. He has a really cool costume. Yeah, I. I can't remember the specific or the particular species of mushroom that his outfit is based on. But I wish that the hunter had access to something similar. <laughs> it is a really cool hat, by the way. Right? And the fact that it's, you know, basically a reference to one of the cooler looking mushrooms that is, pre that is you know, present in real life, I think. Well, actually, I think we can fight the um, Rathalos right now. But should we though? Could we? I think we can just wait. We can just wait. I would really, really like to um, uh, pick up the next upgrade of my Insect Glaive before I fight that thing. And hopefully get some better upgrades for armor as well. I think I also need to replace my helmet at this point. Since we recently slain Legiana, we might have enough parts to get a replacement helmet, but okay, uh, partner, let me just check. Set up quests for the fire wyvern and the horned wyvern. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's Diablos, by the way. Huh. I think. Hmm. Who do I get first? I. Hmm. Okay. This is rough. We could. Or flying wyvern, large monster. Okay, we get this because Rathalos is a flying wyvern. I feel like ah, but there's no puke puke in the um, wild spire waste. No, there isn't one. There isn't one. So I think what we'll do is just go for uh, Rathalos first. Uh, let me just craft. Let me just craft a paralysis thing. Paralysis thingy before I proceed. There we go. Shock trap. How did I not remember <laughs> that it's, it was called a shock trap? We'll make two. Just in case. Manage items. Pick one up. And can I craft more... Uh, explody barrels. Large barrel. That, that is the largest that I can make? Ah, my god. That's unfortunate. Okay, but oh well. Let's make a few, and then bring a couple along the way. There we go. I think that's enough. Close the quest. You know, level. Okay, this is not. Why didn't I go for optional? It was the main quest. Let's go for Rathalos. Okay, so what I want here is that if we manage to um northwest, there we go. Okay, take those. I am hoping that we somehow manage to find a Puke Puke along the way. Right? 
Hopefully we do. And by then I think we will have enough to upgrade uh, the next stage. And this weapon. Oh, nice flash pods. Free flash pods. I appreciate that so much. You have no idea, game, <laughs> how much that is appreciated. Okay. So, the reasoning for bringing along, right, a shock trap is because, uh, specifically, I feel like my weapons and equipment, particularly my weapon, is under leveled for this particular monster doesn't have quite enough firepower and annoyingly enough we would probably not also have enough sharpness as well so that sucks so that sucks and run out of stamina can i get oh wait a minute i'm being very silly again aren't i did i completely forget to pick up the food buffs i think i did <laughs> Ah, uh, no Puke Puke for me, game, 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 how could you do this to me, how could you, how could you do this, how could you do me so dirty right now, wait a minute, something, something, nope, that's just warp off, oh my god, game did me so dirty, so dirty right now, Ew, Jesus, ah, this makes me very sad, very sad indeed, oh well, we just have to fight, you know, Rathalos, Raw Dog style. <laughs> oh, God, this is not going to be fun. This is not going to be fun. Okay, we already hit that. Have we already hit the food buffs? Uh, no, we haven't. See? See what I meant? Okay, there we are. Finally hit the food buffs. Let's go downstairs, shall we? Okay, okay. Hopefully he shows up here. I think. Hmm. It's not a sure thing, by the way. I think if I pick up one of the eggs, there is a high likelihood that both the Rathalos and the Rathian will probably show up. And if I drop this... Maybe. Maybe they'll show up. Maybe they'll show up. Should I just wait here, by the way? <laughs> that might that might be a bad idea. <laughs> that, may, that might take too long. Another option, I feel like, is to just drop down from here? Really? Really, is this? Okay. Okay, then what? Then what? Where do you take me, Scott Flies? Where do you take me? Oh, hello, buddy. Fancy seeing you here. Steam. Can have this cool stuff. Barbarian print. Okay. I, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Come across Barbarian prints very commonly. Uh, even then, I don't find it particularly useful. I feel like, because sometimes, right, why, first Vibrarian, why sometimes he gives us Max Potion. And Max Potion, whenever he does that, he is absolutely goaded for giving us Max Potion. <laughs> Occasionally. Okay, where are we going, game? Where are we going? Ah. Uh, it's bizarre that the game takes me here. Is, is Rattles even in this part of the map? No, no, he is not. So why would, why would you take me here, game? Just for the tracks. Oh my god. Fortunate, unfortunate RNG. Okay, so at least he shows up on my mini map now. That's nice. Yes. How far is he? How far is he? Is he? All the way up there. It's all the way up there. Now I have to fly back up all the way. So thank you so much, game. Thank you so much for sending me on this wild goose chase. 
could have just had him here in the first oh my god okay i'm going to stop complaining i'm going to stop complaining let's just enjoy this okay let's buff up the um did that do it there we go that did it do this hopefully hopefully he comes back there we go okay we got the um thing back and this is bad he immediately decides to fly this is unfortunate okay okay get me the buffs didn't get me any buffs whatsoever fine <laughs> we'll just wall bang him at the soonest possible opportunity, like this. There we go. Ah. Then, get the buffs like this. Okay, actually want to work on his tail. Let's dodge that. And, can I get- yes! That is a tail grab, and that is an avalanche that I want to get out of the way for. There we go. That is big damage to start off with, by the way. Which, again, not going to complain about that. <laughs> right, so before we follow him downstairs, let's pick up the, um... I think he dropped... There we go, that's the thing. Thank you, game. Let's drop down here. And make this guy's life a living hell. There we go. Ow, that didn't tenderize. Uh, that tail, I don't know. Sometimes this game, you know. Okay, never mind. There we go, immediate bounce. <laughs> Appreciate that. Okay, whoa, whoa. Dude, he is just, he just flew off. A quarter of the map in a single month. Whoa, okay. Hold your horses, buddy. Let's do this. I think we have enough slimming, slimming ammo to give him the business, but I think I think I just focus on damage for now. And ah, oh, this is going to hurt. Yep, I called it. But oh well, I mean he's running though, so I mean I could have gone worse, <laughs> all things considered. So at the very least, we might not have to waste too much resources because we can just call our cat to do this okay get over me the uh, thing let me get get that out of the way pick up this okay so let's check the map where did i buddy go where did our buddy go to north west maybe i what what is what is this place what is this place right now? This is... This is Limbo. What? <laughs> Where are you, dude? Okay. Okay, never mind. We'll just follow the scott flies, I guess. Uh, no big deal. Just, okay. Maybe it's because I just haven't explored that part of the map, map yet? Which is strange, if that's the case. If I have bomb pods. Um, I don't know if that's ideal, but... Bomb pods do do deal quite a bit of damage, so I guess they could be useful. Oh, oh, it's up here. Maybe I haven't been to this part of the map yet, but that sounds kind of unlikely. Well, speaking of pods, probably should equip the flash pods right now. Okay, buddy, where are you? He's most likely flying at this moment. Yep. Very convenient. But we have the flash pods on hand, and how did that not work? That's stupid. There. Nope. One more try. There we are. There we go. <laughs> okay. Do this. And into the wall. Maybe this is a wall bang? Yes. Yes, that is a wall bang. Okay, combo time. Ooh, big damage. Okay, watch it. 
I think. Ah, oh, Christ, that is poison. So this is one of the annoying parts about, you know, Rathalos. Is that he still does the poison. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have Slinger ammo. Not a good idea to mount. Not a good idea to mount. Um, let's crack a few potions first. Okay. Potion number one. And then, let's see if we can't... Ah, oh, come on, buddy. Don't do this to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm dead. Okay, maybe not. I need a slinger pod. Or a slinger ammo. Right now. ASAP. 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 There we go. Okay. At least we got that. And maybe... We got enough room to go pick up a potion and... Okay, buddy. Time to go down. Nope. Ouch. 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 Do this. Nope. One more. Ah, no, that doesn't do it. Okay, never mind then. Ow, okay, okay. We got poisoned again. God, I hate that. I hate that this thing deals poison even though his tails come off. It really sucks. Potion number one. And use the other potion. So it's at this point that the ideal... Right? The ideal course of action here is to try to get off a mountain. While we don't have a way to knock it, and I'm about to force him again, and I'm about to faint. You happy now, game? Do that, okay. And then, antidote, please. Get me out of here. <laughs> there, okay. Okay. It's really annoying when this guy does this thing where he just flies around in perpetuity, and I can do nothing about it. Also, me not having the um, white buff is also unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Can I get my white buff? Or rather, my red buff. Please. Is he going to run away? Maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, nope, he's running away. Running away to where exactly? to his nest huh and you I do not want to fight you at the moment would you leave me alone please there we go maybe can I fly from here nah I'm still in combat okay oh we'll wait this up while I drink some water Okay, that's stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> we really need to um, carry one farcaster for situations like these. I swear to god, this is annoying. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough. We managed to evade him. All right now. All right now. I'm still in combat. What? Game. Oh, son of a... <laughs> fine, fine. I guess I'm just... I'll just walk. I'll walk to his location. Okay. So he's higher up. I think. Oh no, he's below? Hmm. Oh wait. We go. I, hmm, I can't tell exactly where he is at the moment. I think we just follow, by the way. Ah, we really should be carrying more than one might see for every expedition, for every quest. Oh well.
Right, buddy? What are you up to? Before I forget. Feed the insect. Oh, oh, watch this, watch this. I love this part where they just, you know, conveniently stand. Or rather, fly <laughs> directly under the boulder, right? Like it wasn't going to hit them. Whoa, 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 watch yourself. Okay, okay. We have enough red pits. Whoa, okay. Oh my god, I'm poisoned again. So silly. Game. Okay, get that. Okay, I think we can wall bang him from here. There we go. Eat that antidote. Well, we still can. There we go. Ah, nice. Watch yourself. Eat this. There we go. All oh, the buffs. <laughs> That's a really nice move. I really love that move. I think we have an opportunity to wall bang him a second time if we have enough red pits. Yep, we do. Oh, okay, we missed. Never mind then. Never mind. No, at least he's not flying and... Oh no, don't get hit. Don't get hit. We saw that coming. Nope, no mount. Okay. We ran out of stamina. Uh, I kind of wish we had a thing right now to help us with that. <laughs> oh well, not a big deal anyway. Ah, we still wrecked this guy. Oh, hello. Huh, that was a knockdown. Yeah, figures. Okay, can I get... Oh my god, I feel like I'm not doing much in the way of damage, and that still hit me. So silly. There we go. Big damage, buddy. Okay. <sighs> right, right. We're doing quite a number on him already. Ah, while our insect is busy with him, I think this is a good opportunity. Making a sharpen, and I was correct. <laughs> Which kind of feels like, you know, it almost feels like, oh, hello. We have a guest. We have a visitor. Right, find them. Didn't actually hit anything there. Huh, that's surprising. And he's going to fly off now. <sighs> Hopefully this Tobikodachi doesn't follow us everywhere. Or else it's going to be really, really annoying. Okay. Well, he's gone. Let's see where this guy flies off to. I think we can catch him here. Okay, now. I'm surprised I haven't fainted yet at this point. <laughs> Normally I would. Uh, I'm so bad at this game. But yeah, yeah. Pleasant surprise. I haven't sucked yet. There we go. No, no, no. That missed. It's enraged. Nope. We have an opportunity here. Can I get... Okay, there we go. Wall bang. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. There we go. Big damage. Ooh, ooh, that is big damage. Okay. And he's almost dead, too. No, 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 not that. No, shit, I missed. Fuck. <laughs> I missed. Oh, no, no. Ah, anyway, anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. At least we know at this point where he will show up. Yeah? And from there we can just capture him anyway. Right? The reason for this is that I just, you know, 
I really don't feel like I don't feel like taking the time to um, kill him anymore. It's just going to be a lot of time wasted on our part, so it's no big deal. No big deal whatsoever. Am I missing something here? I feel like I am. Okay, we'll take that. Just so, just in case we don't forget it the next time around, and... Okay, on pods, doesn't matter. Don't need barrels at this point, because we can just capture him. And why is it taking me here? This guy is, um, you know, taking his sweet time coming around the map just to go back to his nest. What an idiot. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? You can do something really, really messed up. It's just wait for him to show up right here. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. We need to give him space so that he can fall asleep. Come on. He's enraged for some reason. You know what? You know what? Not a big deal. Not a big deal. What we could do... Right? Since he's so angry right now... Whoa, 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 whoa. Do this. Ouch. No, okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? I'll let you have this. I'll let you have this. Right? Just because. Just because. Just because. <laughs> I will let you have it for now. But, but, just so you know, this cannot stand. This cannot stand. Okay, get down from there. Okay? I swear to God, I swear to God, if you start flying again, come over here. Pull up, pull up, buddy. Come on, come on, walk over. Oh, God. Dummy, dummy. Kitty, come here, come here, stop distracting him. Let him come to me. There we go. <laughs> there we are. See? Saves us a whole lot of time and effort. Next up, Diablos. Which, I mean, you know. Normally I would just kill him and carve him. It's not much of a difference between capturing and carving. Right? Because the bonus materials you get from capturing basically is the same stuff you get from carving the thing essentially so it basically evens out but at the very least you know if you're dealing with monsters that are particularly high hp monster bone plus you only get one of those really really game <sighs> the difference right is basically you know the stuff you get from carving so it kind of evens itself out Right, so either way, there's no, there's no particular, no better answer if we should kill or capture a monster. It's just a matter of, you know, would you like to save up on the resources to make the shock traps and the tranquilizer bombs? Or would you rather take the effort to um, basically, you know, kill it all the way? Let's do that. We going next, maybe? Coral High Dance? I'm not sure. Not sure. We, I'm def I'm definitely sure we're going to, you know, multiply ways, but so I guess it's not really <laughs> does it really matter? Sure. We'll do that. And let's check our research. Yeah, I have to be constantly drinking water. Because it's at that point in the live stream that, you know, my throat starts to get all itchy and burny, burny feeling. Uh, not ideal, not ideal. So let's check. Um, I don't think we need to bother. At, at, at the state, you know, judging by our performance against that Rathalos, I don't think we need to we need to really prioritize the um, weapon upgrade at this point in time, right? So I think we are good for now in terms of armor and in terms of damage. The quest? Let's see. Signed. Let's take you. 
Let's go. Um, do I want to start here or here? I think I want to start here. And sure, let's use up the vouchers. Why not? Why not? This may or may be the last hunt we do. Uh, today, depending on how long it takes us. Ah, uh, let's go manage our inventory just, just before we go. Okay, we have large barrel bombs. We can restock. I don't mind. You know. Okay. I think we're missing one max potion, which, you know, we cannot... We don't have the materials to craft at this point. Maybe we do? Yeah, we don't. We don't. Okay, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal for us right now. Unless we do this. Okay, that is a lot of stuff to get. There we go. That's a There's the max potion. Okay. Okay, so. I, sure, we'll bring one for emergency purposes. Why not? Yeah, I'm starting to feel congested now. <laughs> oh boy. Partially because I've just recently recovered. I okay. So I have no idea what the screamer pod does for us. I I'm not entirely sure or familiar at what its utility is for any monster in question. Oh there we go, boulder bone, that's what we uh, needed. Thank god we got two there. <laughs> ah, I thought I was missing that. Okay, moving on then. Um, look at this. I'm pretty sure we need those for something. Not sure what, but definitely something. Turbo shroom. Uh, let's get some tracks. Yes, Diablos. I'm pretty sure those are Diablos tracks. Uh, okay. What else we got? We could take... Well, we'll take this, definitely. Might as well. Although we got nothing useful. <laughs> Never mind then. Damn it, can't believe we got nothing rare from that. Okay. Footprints. Footprints. Mr. Diablos. Scratches. We get all the stuff. Stand to eat our potions at this point, but uh, maybe we could. But stand to hold off at the moment. Buddy. God, this. The creature designs. I do like them, though. Even though these things are, you know, particularly generic vulture, fantasy vulture types, right? I do appreciate that they're not overly complicated and they're just they're designed with simplicity. A lot of fantasy settings do that, unfortunately, where you know even smaller un let's say inconsequential peripheral creatures are overly designed for no reason. Oh well, I I might I'm talking out of my ass. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I don't know. I'm not that experienced. When it comes to writing and world building, I just know what I like. Speaking of, you know, creature designs. Opinions on Diablos. Because I feel like... Okay. Ah, uh, Not particularly in, let's say, game mechanics. But in terms of creature design. I love this thing. <laughs> this thing looks so damn cool, right? Uh, how do I explain this? This creature, right, with its horns and its, you know, its teeth, it is... It's deceptively carnivorous, but it isn't, right? Because having horns like that, it's a, it's a creature you would specifically find on herbivores, let's say. Um, hold on. 
Hold on, let me just eat my buffs. Specifically on herbivores that are particularly territorial because they use that to fight other herbivores, you know, whether for mating or for protecting their territories, right? But in addition to his teeth, or rather the false teeth, you would think, oh, he has carnivore teeth because he has sharp teeth in front. No, those are. It's kind of red herring, actually. Ouch. Okay. Wrong move. Okay, watch yourself. There we go. Got the buffs quick. And, okay. We have an opportunity here. He's right next to a wall. Oh, come on. How did that touch come on, miss? Face the wall, buddy. There we go. And do this. And then, work on that too. Try to deal damage and... Oh, that part missed. Ooh, just barely dodged that. Just barely dodged that as well, Jesus Christ. This. I think we can stand to... Do another wall bang? Yes. Kind of. Yes, we do. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, that's good for us. That's a lot of damage to the tail. Okay, it is at this point that ideally we can mount him now. If we can dodge that. There we go, nice. And just do this. Easy, easy. We can get another knockdown on him. And then, by then, hopefully, we will have secured his tail. Yes. Do also partially want to work on his horns, though. Oh, and there he goes. This is trouble. We can do this to distract him. Now we'll try to find some more slinger ammo. Um, if I... Okay, there we go. <laughs> if I can pay attention to the minimap for even a slight second. There we are. Watch yourself. You might be thinking about switching... I don't know, switching locations? Hopefully not. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, watch yourself. Okay. You know what? Uh, one thing this weapon has a disadvantage is it doesn't have a way to, um, you know, do the whole full tenderize in a single clutch claw move. Because Sword and Shield has that. When you do the claw uppercut, you can basically do a full tenderize even though that thing is considered a light weapon. And light weapons generally aren't able to tenderize in a single well, tenderizing move, I'd say. Oh. We have an opportunity for Wall Bang here. And this. Yes. Right in there. Ooh. Ah, not enough damage. There we go. <laughs> ah, about damn time. Is he mad enough to get enraged, though? That is the question. I think he's just going to run at this point. Maybe? Or he's just doing the burrow attack. Nope, nope, he's running. He's running good. Good, we did good. So far, I think we, we are doing flawless <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> well, surprised at myself. Okay. So anyway, more about the biology of the Diablos, okay? One thing you could say one thing you could criticize it is that arguably you could say that the wings are vestigial, right? Even though they are as prominent as they are, which is weird. Okay, I'll face it. I'll own up to that. It's kind of weird that they are. And what? Let's test this. Ooh, okay. Where is my thing? Ah, it's kind of weird that they are prominent as they are. 
but that I think that might be the only criticism I have of its design. Right? It could be more obvious that the wings are in fact a vestigial part of its anatomy by being far less prominent than they are. But, you know, it's just a case that, well, it isn't. <laughs> they are very prominent. But again, that's a minor, minor thing. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't belabor the point, but oh well. It's just a thing, it's just a thing. I mean, I'm just having fun with it. Just thinking about the uh, creature designs in this game, right? Because I do, do definitely love Monster Hunter. Even though this is technically my first Monster Hunter game, right? I'm not fully familiar with the lore or anything, but... Ah, shit, got hit by that. Okay, is this one of those things where it does a bunch of, you know, back and forth waddle moves? Yeah, I hate this. I hate when they do that. There we go. Eat this bitch. <laughs> Finally, we can get some full buffs, maybe? There we are. Not what we... not what I expected. Okay. Ouch! Ooh, I could have dodged that better. That is entirely my fault. Do this. Dodge laterally, and I still get hit. Because I am a dumbass. Alright, never mind. We just pick this up. Okay. Ah, oh, he's doing this again. Come on, buddy. Keep going, by the way. Okay. Do this. Actually, there we go, full buffs. And let's just ah, let this guy attack for free. And then we can do our usual, you know, nonsense against him. Not like that though. <laughs> that is a miss. Opening and that is not an opening, dummy. Oh, come on, stop doing this. I hate it when they do the spam thing. Or just, you just spam underground and stuff, and you, you can't hurt them at all. And here, yeah, you see, see what I'm talking about? Is this necessary, really? <laughs> just, just doing this to be annoying specifically. Oh my god, buddy. Ooh, dodge backwards. And, ooh, oh, hello. Chance to get some slinger ammo, hopefully. Yes, there we go. Needed that. Let's see what it does. Oh no, he's enraged again. I was hoping we could get another wall bang, but I guess that's not in the cards. Never mind. Is he running away? Is he running away? Oh no, I think he's running away. Eh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. The goddess number, though. Where's the goddess number? That is basically dead. Dead to rights. Okay, buddy. Let's see what we get. Up out of the way. There we go. Hopefully, we're gonna buff this way. Yes, we do. And by this time. Hopefully, get a mount off. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not dealing with this. Not dealing with this. Touch that early. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Got me with that one. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Thank you, cat. Mount, please! Oh, still no mount, huh? There we go. Oh! Ah, not enough damage. Okay. 
or rather not enough sharpness I should say. If he's running away again, yeah, we have an opportunity. We are. Okay then. Ah, right. You know what? Another case, I guess. For the whole argument for, you know, upgrading to the second tier, to the next tier of weapon is basically sharpness issues because my god does this thing run out of sharpness so easy <laughs> it's actually ridiculous oh, i hate it i hate it so much i don't think buddy boy here mr diablo man is nowhere close to being low health ah <sighs> oh well oh well we'll deal with it we have no plans to capture him anyway oh he's up here huh. Right. Where was I before? I lost my train of thought. You know, talking about the um, uh, design of this game, right? Or rather, design of this creature. Is that, despite the false carnivorous teeth, those aren't his actual teeth. And it's in the detail of the monster that he has herbivore teeth hidden underneath there. So all of the sharp bits that he has along his face, along his tail, are there for the express purpose of, you know, for the express purpose of really just defending his territory, right? Ouch. Okay, okay, buddy. <laughs> now, watch out for that charge. Okay. Missed all of that. No big deal. We probably should back off here a little bit and dodge <laughs> while he does that. Okay, buddy. Eat a dick. That's not the buff that we wanted. Hopefully. No. Ah, there we go. We got number one. Nice. We can just do this now. And give him the old tenderize. Is that it? tenderize? He said nope. I mean, we get slinger ammo though, which is, huh, I think a second best thing. Oh no, there you go. He's limping. Okay, I think he's low health technically. Even without his skull emoji showing up, if they start limping, generally that's the sign that they are very close to him. Well, if not, the straight up overt indication that you should be capturing it at that point. Okay, there we are. Ooh! One more! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I dodge both. Okay. Okay. He's running. Ah, come on, buddy. Well, I mean, he only has one place to go and that is his nest. So we do, we, do we actually plan on capturing this guy? No, I don't think so. I don't think we are. Okay, buddy. Time to go night night. It's not still not showing the uh, the skull emoji. And he's not in his nest, interestingly enough. Hmm. Okay. we do about this i think the move here is to just tenderize his head his head while he tries to you know oh my god i mean we got it tenderized <laughs> now he's just you know running home and it is at this point that we wait for him to sleep and then we plant bombs on his head there he is he is Good night, buddy. Ah, it was nice knowing you. This. One more. And... <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me the same. Give me the same game. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, come on. Can't believe that reached charge 
Okay. Oh, come on, hitbox. Please. Hitbox, please. Hitbox, please. Oh, doing me dirty again. It's going to charge in this direction? Yep. Thought so. Uh, he's just going to do... Ah, oh, I really hate this. really hate this thing. Where they just... Uh, keep running back and forth like an idiot. Alright. And the hitbox for that is just goes all the way around their ass. And it's bullshit. There we go. There we go. Let me do that. Um, yes we can. And now we are almost dead. Okay, okay. Dodge this. Dodge this. If we don't, we paint. Oh, no, I don't think he, hit, he hits us even <laughs> at this point. I think you're not dead yet, sir. Unbelievable. Right. Okay, buddy. Seriously, seriously. We just need to die at this point. Can I wall bang him though? What do you like? Nope, I'm not in the right position to do that. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. Can I wall bang him? Yes, I could. Yeah, let's just do this. There we go. Nice. Easy. <laughs> That's you. There we are. See? Faints required. Dude, I could do a faintless run of this game. Eventually, in the future, if I get good enough, right? Without the Iodons, no Defender stuff, no Guardian armor, right? Just straight up Monster Hunter. <laughs> uh, that's probably not going to go well. Imagine me playing this game hardcore. Like, nope, nope, done in the first few cars. <laughs> alright, alright. So anyway, I think that might be the only time I have for today. Unfortunately, I might not be able to fit in another thing because I need to get ready by 3 a.m., which is an hour from now, by my time, for another recording session with Captain Jack and the crew. So if you are watching this, right, I would just like to let you know that you should probably like and subscribe my videos. But oh well, what I, re what I really meant to say is, you know, besides subscribing to my videos, is you should go and check out the um, Captain Jack's channel, where I specifically am partaking in one of their current playthroughs, right? One with Space Engineers. Oh my god, that kind of jump scared me, that voice though. One with Space Engineers and I'm playing, you know, with Captain Jack and his crew of delinquents. And then there's Mr. Castle. Everyone, please. And we're just having a good time blowing each other up and, and building stuff. So, and mostly on, blowing each other up in Space Engineers. What? Correct. And not erase it from the ecosystem. Um, I think I, what if we tried uh, to what are we actually? away from the Everstream somehow? All oh, right, we haven't so slain Zora Mangros yet. Need I and even if we have Don't worry, We've only dealt with Zora Mangros plan. once, is that right? What I think it that is, is the first oh, Zora Mangros oh, thing. The I'm second, fucking. I think, is a lot less of an issue if we can get artillery buffs on our side. Oh, rather heavy artillery. Sorry about that. Almost forgot. We need those Captain heavy shooter, artillery buffs. Happy to be here. I brought everything you'll need. Not to mention a little she's armed with the late Oh so, yeah, definitely Hunters. don't think we can fit the, the time to fight the Zoro Magnus too. Given, you know, we need to be out of here. It's we need to be to out of here Magnus at two o'clock. All of us. Yep, yep. Let me just manage a few inventory items before we go. Mm -hmm. So I can, you know, properly close out the stream. Anyway. So, how further along are we? 
Um, so far, I think I have clocked in at 10 hours. Yeah, let me start thing there. I have clocked in at 10 hours during this whole challenge, right? And add another 3 hours, which would mean another... Um, hold on. Quick math. Uh, uh, <laughs> 80, um, um, 87 hours to go? Which is, you know, quite a bit, considering we are already at high rank. And trunk bombs. Fill that out. We really need to get parachutes. So, here's the thing. I may or may not, right? New um, farm out some of the other stuff that I need. Um, namely speaking, the canteen materials and other upgrade materials that I need to progress. Like the Puke Puke stuff and the armor stuff. In another channel, which I will leave, you know, I won't, I won't upload that to a VOD on this channel, right? But I will leave up that up open in another channel, which is my alternate, which is Wangus After Dark, if you can find it. I will leave a comment in the um, VOD of this live stream so that you can, if you want to follow. I will leave, <laughs> I will be playing a live stream, okay, of me farming that stuff shortly, just so I can document my progress throughout this game. So yeah, there it is. Ah. Those are your three hours of relaxing monster hunter, right? Okay, not technically three hours, maybe two and 50 minutes, two hours and 50 minutes, but oh well, you get the idea. I need to be off because in an hour from now, I will be doing another recording session and I need to give my vocal cords a break because they are on fire right now, even though I've been drinking water this whole time. So anyway, it has been nice and I appreciate it very much, everyone to came, everyone who comes here, everyone who came to the stream and commented. You have no idea how grateful I am. It has been my privilege to have you here, okay? So, that said, I will see you all next time, okay? Uh, goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye-bye.